Hey, I'm Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to perform subtraction, but we are going to visually demonstrate the process using a base 10 abacus. Pay attention to the place value and how the abacus changes in the cases where we have to borrow. So let's get started right there. Let's enter a number here. Let's put in five ones, nine tens, four hundreds, eight one thousands, six ten thousands. And from this number, we are going to subtract 61,453. So let's start with our ones column. Five subtract three is two. Let's go to our tens column. Nine subtract five is four. Let's go to our hundreds column. Four subtract four is zero. We do not have any hundreds in our result. In our one thousands column, eight subtract one is seven. And in our ten thousands column, six subtract six is zero. We have zero ten thousands in our answer. We do not have to put the zero there, so we'll take it off. So our result is 7,042. There we go. Now, let's perform a subtraction problem that requires borrowing. Let's enter five ones, nine tens, four hundreds, eight one thousands, six ten thousands, and three hundred thousands. From this number, we are going to subtract 61,997. Let's start with our ones column. Notice we have five subtract seven. We can't do that in this vertical format. We have to borrow from our tens column. So notice our tens column moves from a nine down to an eight. And notice we now have 15 ones because borrowing one ten means we borrowed 10 ones. So we write that up there. Notice we have 15 ones and now we can subtract in the ones column. 15 subtract 7 gives us 8. Now, in the tens column, we have 8 subtract 9. We can't do that. We have to borrow from our hundreds column. So notice our hundreds column changes to a 3, and we borrowed 100, which is 10 tens, so we now have 18 tens. And so let's go ahead and write that up there. Now, we can now perform the subtraction in the tens column. 18 subtract 9 is actually 9. Okay, now, in our hundreds column, we have 3 subtract 9. Again, we cannot perform the subtraction. We cannot get negative results. So we have to borrow from our 1000s column. So notice, our 1000s changes to 7, and we now have 13 hundreds, because 1 1000 is equivalent to 10 hundreds. And now we can perform the subtraction. In our hundreds column, 13 subtract 9 is 4. Now, in our 1000s column, we have 7 subtract 1. We can perform that. That's 6. 6 subtract 6 is 0, so we have 0 ten thousands. And 3 subtract 0 is 3. So there's our result, 306,498. Okay, let's do one more problem. Let's enter 7 ones, 0 tens, 0 hundreds, 0 one thousands, 2 ten thousands. And let's now subtract 12,384. We'll start with the ones column. Seven subtract four, no problems, that we get three. Now in our tens column, we have zero subtract eight. We can't do that, so we have to borrow from the hundreds. But we don't have any hundreds, so we have to borrow from the one thousands. But we don't have any one thousands, so we have to borrow from the ten thousands. Notice our ten thousands becomes one, and now in the one thousands, we now have ten. So let's go ahead and write that up. Now, we gotta borrow one of the thousands and put it into the hundreds. Remember, 1,000 is equal to 10 hundreds. And so notice our 1,000s will change to nine and our hundreds change to 10. So let's go ahead and write that up. Now, we have to borrow one of the hundreds and put it into the tens. Remember, one 100 is equivalent to 10 tens. So when we borrow hundreds, notice it changes to nine and we now have 10 tens. So let's go ahead and write that up in our calculation. There it is. And now we can perform the subtraction in our tens place. 10 subtract 8 is 2. 9 subtract 3 is 6. 9 subtract 2 is 7. And 1 subtract 1 is 0. So our answer is 7,623. That's it for now. We'll see you again soon.